All right, so as the title of this video suggests, today we are having a look at a beat I made 10 years ago. That's right, way back in 2010. So with very little to do these days, I figured I would have a look at my old hard drives, go through some of my old beats, see what I could find. And I was inspired to recreate a beat that I made in 2010, a whole decade ago. So the reason I picked this beat is uh, mainly because I had kept a copy of the original sample and I had also bounced out the beat that I made back then. So I have this hard drive full of old beats, but a lot of the beats I never actually bounced out. And as I don't own a copy of Logic or Reason anymore, there's no way for me to really get access to those beats again. But without further ado, let's have a listen to what I thought was an all right beat 10 years ago. Not too bad, not too bad. Definitely could have been a lot worse. I really like the sample that I found, but the drums are a little weird. And other than that, I didn't do much to it. So let's have a listen to what the original sample sounded like. So you can hear that I basically just looped to this section. and added some drums and I think I basically just called it a day. All right, let's uh, chuck that sample into machine and see what we can do with it today. All right, so the first thing I did was I chopped this up slightly differently. Like I said before, with the original beat, I essentially just looped a four bar section. And as one would imagine, I started that four bar loop on beat one of bar one. But as you can hear, there's a kind of a run over note. The flute from the previous section plays over the first beat of the next section, the section that I wanted to loop. So the way I got around that was I went to the first beat of the next four bar section. Now in this section, the violins start to kick in, but for those first two beats, you can barely hear them. So you can really get away with using those two notes as opposed to the original two beats. Now to change it up a bit from the old beat, I decided I would pitch everything up six semitones. And then finally, I wanted to extend the loop out a bit. So what I did was play the first two bars three times before going to the second two bar section. So uh, that basically explains what I did with the sample, but um, let's see how I got along with the rest of the beat.